All right, everybody, welcome back. Today, surprisingly enough, we just got the brand new M13 Lucky Draw introduced into Call of Duty Mobile. This is really surprising considering the fact that we still have 21 days left in the season itself, and this was the second new gun that was supposed to be coming. So I guess we have both of the new weapons already in the game. I'm not entirely too sure what's gonna be planned here for the rest of the season. I'd imagine some like second anniversary content. So stay on the lookout for that. Of course, we will be covering it as soon as like any information or like the events actually happen. But as far as tonight, M13 is officially out. And I think the only way you can actually unlock it is through the mythic draw, just because I didn't see that there was any new challenges at least available at this exact moment. So uh this might be a little exclusive gameplay here so we're gonna go ahead and start pulling through the draw you guys already know the deal with the mythic draws there's gonna be the two phases you get the original phase which is like the standard lucky draw and then moving on into the second is gonna be where you can actually get like custom death effects custom attachments and then recently they've been throwing in like custom calling cards and emblems for whenever you get kills but our first pull here is gonna get us the sks that doesn't look like it has iron sights so we'll have to test that out at some point. This literally looks flat. I don't know what the iron sights are going to look like on that, but we'll have to check it out. Like I said, sometime in the future. I do plan on making a video with the SKS soon, just because I've been having a lot of fun with the gun, especially in Battle Royale, which I've been playing a lot more of this season. So maybe we'll actually like do a dedicated live comm with SKS on BR. Second item we got was the Epic Helicopter, and then this third one's going to be the Legendary Charm. This one's actually kind of cool. Number four, 300 CP is going to get us a Karambit skin. Oh, I just realized there's a legendary thermite in this. All right. So that's going to be the first legendary thermite that's ever uh, come into the game. We got the fine tuning emote, kind of similar to like the gunsmith one that we had seen a while back. All right. This is our sixth pull. They got us the 50 GS. This is where things are going to start getting expensive because pretty much only the good things are left besides the calling card, which we'll go ahead and unlock has ghost and the mythic M13 on it. 2400 cp yeah hold up these things are about to get pricey pricey legendary thermite let's go we're gonna throw this on i don't use the thermite typically and i haven't used it in a long time but i'm super curious on what this is actually gonna be like we know the legendary trip mine has like a custom blast effect so i wonder if this legendary thermite's gonna have some sort of like custom fire burn or maybe even like a kill effect after taking out players i don't know 3400 cp here for our ninth draw i could live without ghosts but it doesn't look like I'm going to have to because we're going to be getting the Ghost Azriel skin. A lot of people have been talking about this. A lot of people have been hyping it up. So glad to see it here come into the game. And for 5,800 CP, our guaranteed 10th pull is going to give us the M13 Morningstar. We've got this custom pull animation. So we'll just watch it for the sake of the fact that I spent $60 on that final spin alone. Oh, all right. Well, that's it. That was a little introduction. I mean, this thing looks sick. This is the first Mythic that I feel like truly looks above pretty much any of the other legendaries. I mean, this and the Peacekeeper was really cool when that first released, but those could pass for, I would say, legendaries. This one, though, just straight up looks so different. And I'm really curious to see what, like, what the effect is going to look like and how the M13 is just going to play out in general. Because in case you guys didn't know, I actually didn't see any leaks. I haven't watched any videos on the M13, and I didn't play with it in the test server just because I didn't get into the test server. So... This is going to be all completely new to me. I know it's going to have a fast fire rate with low recoil, and that's just about it. That's going to lock us phase number two here, where we can go through the different upgrades for the weapons. So before we do that, we're just going to go ahead and check out to see actually what they are. And uh, we do have 290 of these cards, so that will allow us to at least get to level two here on the Mythic. So we'll go ahead and do that, and that will unlock us, I'm assuming, a sticker. Yeah, a couple of unique Mythic stickers. Ooh, totally worth it. Okay, the gun looks sick. That's the in-game view, and we just unlocked a new flash for it. I just got a new membership on YouTube. I'm not streaming. Let's go. Shout out to Eddie Hernandez. <laughs> Mythic level four, as I would mentioned, you get the custom unique attachments, and then the emblem or metal sort of border. And I actually like this one because it has a special effect to it, and that one actually looks clean. That one's my favorite so far. I think just in general, this is the best Mythic so far to come into COD Mobile, which is to be expected as the game like sort of evolves over time. Level five is going to get you a unique charm. Level six other unique muzzle flash seven the other unique death effect and then the final eighth mythic levels and get you the rest of the attachments and then that calling card border which i don't think is like super worth it so we might just upgrade this out to four and then call it there although like having the calling cards are nice i just i don't know we need 1800 more calling cards or mythic cards so i'll start buying a couple of these and and we'll see where things kind of go we might get lucky yeah, so we can actually claim 250 Mythics, which eventually we'll use. So I think we will just go ahead and buy out all 
10 of these draws. From there, just like depending on how many mythic cards we actually have, we'll make the decision on whether or not we do want to max this all the way out to level eight. 40 in that one, and that's going to put us at 90. So this last set of tens is going to get us to the final claim of the 250 cards. So we'll do this 50. Okay. This one I'm assuming is going to be 100. Yep. And then like I had mentioned before, 250 here on this one. So how many mythics do we have now? 2100. So we could max this out if we wanted to. For the content, we could. We really could. Uh, what kind of attachments? Granulated. Oh, you know what? That's how it's going to be. Granulated. Double stack 40 round mag. Oh, all the good unique attachments are going to be max level. All right. You know what? For the content. Okay. For the content, we'll do it. Max mythic level just so we can put that in the title or something. And then here's all the different things that we're going to be getting as we had mentioned before. I'm excited to see this thing in game. It's going to be wild. I would say my level of like ranking the mythics would be this M13 on top, the Fennec at number two, the Peacekeeper at number three, ASBAL number four, and then the Holger at number five. I don't think the Holger looks that crazy cool. Okay, scroll all the way here to the end. M13, that's what the core version of the gun would look like if we were using that. And then here is the mythic. This is the default blueprint as well. I'm curious to see like all these different attachments and what the weapon actually is going to be bringing here. So we'll go ahead and max that out and then just go to the large ammo right away. So we have an attachment skin for each and every one of the mags. So plus 30 round mags. So I'm assuming that's going to give you 60, uh, 20 damage at range as well as bullet speed. So there's actually going to be a bullet velocity factor with this gun, sort of similar to the ASVAL. So that's going to be interesting. I guess that's sort of a technical nerf on the gun if it does have that, because you have to factor in like how far you have to lead your shots in multiplayer, which isn't something we typically have to do. So I'm thinking we're going to do something similar to like the Peacekeeper on this build. So we're going to build something for like longer ranges. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the testing range and one, check out the gun for the first time, but two, just sort of play around with it and see how this build would actually play in game. Okay, well, here's the gun. This is the iron sight. It's literally a red dot. Like this is, we've seen pay to win sort of red dots before on the iron sights, but this one's like straight up. That's wild. Okay, and so it does have the tactical sprint as to be expected with all the mythics. Yo, that reload is sick. Oh my god. Hold up. This is no recoil control. This thing has got very little recoil. It's like mostly vertical. <laughs> so we'll probably hop into our first game here with this specific loadout. And here's the attribute details if you guys want to go ahead and screenshot this. Try it out for yourself. And then after uh, a game or two, we'll go ahead and swap between the different magazines. I'm sure all of these have custom reloads as well, or at least like different effects to them. So we'll probably test that out as well. But I think if the RTC doesn't seem like it's crazy, crazy, or the bullet speed doesn't seem like it's super slow, then we might throw on the 60 round mag and just test to see how that is. I also think that a perfect combo with this skin would be Dark Nikto. It just, it stands out perfect for me. Yeah, look at that combo. All right, hopping into our first matchup. We get ourselves a Nuketown hardpoint. I really hope this gun's going to be good, dude, just because this is going to be such a fun mythic to run around with. I also didn't equip the different um, like flash effects or death effects, so we'll be playing at least two other matches so we can show off the other versions of those. But this is just the stock version of what the mythic would look like if you got it without leveling up the different parts, with the exception of like the unique attachment looks. So yeah, keep that in mind that the, the muzzle and the default, uh, what you might call it, are both there. And that's the that's the thermite. All right, stuck it on my teammate. Also curious on how effective this gun's going to be at like distances. 24 is across the board is what it seemed like right there. Yeah, definitely 40 shots on this thing does not seem like enough. I'm curious on how big of a difference that bullet velocity and like damage at range actually makes, but I think hopping into our next match, definitely the 60 round bag is going to be the move. Definitely seems like it's hitting for 24 is across the board. Oh, we just hit the, the next like reactive form level because I did hear this thing like have those different uh, sound effects. All right, let's go ahead and throw this thermite one more time. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. So it just has a custom sort of... um. I guess burn effect, as I'd mentioned before. Okay, UAV, go ahead and pop that into the sky. Oh, that sounds cool. And this is what I'm assuming is the final reactive form. The red, yeah, I knew that would look good. Dark Nikto and this combine really well. Enemies are pushing this hard. There goes one. Make it two. I got the third, okay. Go ahead and start hitting this reload. And hit fire is not the way on this. Definitely not the way. <laughs> We're getting close here to this swarm. We do have a kinetic to work with as well. We'll go ahead and pop it. We're just going to jump out the window, challenge this player at the power position, take them on out, got ourselves a swarm. We got another one sitting in the corner. Should be a freebie. And that's going to get us to the advance. 
Go ahead and hit that into the sky, and we are out of ammo, just about. Got one more magazine left, so we'll probably have to charge in and die so we can get the gun back. Not going to be going for any nukes here, although that was nasty what we just did. Aw, oh, I'm tempted to let that guy with the scythe kill me. Uh, I'm just, like, pushing out, challenging stupid things, but, like, I want to die, and at the same time, I also don't, so, you know? I really want to try to get a kill with the legendary thermite, just so I can see what it looks like. I'll go ahead and just chuck it in the, the hill there. I don't know, this thing definitely seems solid. It seems like a constant four shot, though. I'm not really getting any, uh, or a constant five shot. I'm not getting any four shots. Go ahead and pop this UAV into the sky. I really want to test to see its damage at range. Oh, yeah, we're still hitting for 24 apiece. Jeez. Oh, those are all 24s again. I'm getting a thermite burn. Ah, that guy's got kinetic. I got to fall back into the building. There we go. Not really seeing the death effect for this thing. It's a mythic, and I've just been so overwhelmed with pretty much everything else that, yeah, I haven't been paying attention to the death effect, but it doesn't look like there really is one, if I'm being completely honest. All right, good stuff. Got to keep pushing forward here. I'm out of ammo. That guy is not the best player in the game. So it seems like with the base mythic, you're not going to have that sort of like super cool death effect. Oh my gosh. Uh, enemies have persistence, so I probably shouldn't let this game extend very much longer, if possible. So I'm going to try to climb up here, and we're going to try to hold down this hill. We just got to get spawns first. That's phase one here of the plan of not letting enemies beat us. UAV. Go ahead and call that in. Oh my gosh, the spawns are crazy right now. I'll give us uh, 12 seconds. That actually wins us the game, so enemies are going to have to contest. Run through my legendary thermite. Ah, never mind. GG's. The game's over. <laughs> so we didn't get a single kill with the Thermite, but we stuck it to two of our teammates that game. Hey, we dropped 40, though. So that was, again, with the 40-round RTC mag. I definitely think the 60 is going to be better on this thing. I just didn't feel like the bullet velocity was really much of a factor. Like, on the ASVAL, it's noticeable. This gun didn't really seem too bad. Okay, game number two, we're actually going to throw on the large extended mag. So it's going to be the 60-round mag. And then we equipped Blink Out, which is the tier four of the Mythic Levels. Uh, flash effect and then also with the the kill effect oh i don't want to go to terminal dang okay well i guess we're gonna see how them 13 pairs up against holgers because that's all we're gonna go against here ow already getting shot ow god okay well hopefully that thermite's a good thermite Got these players to our side okay there's another one back there oh this thing actually might put in work at range i'm gonna challenge him oh Okay, there's a little look at the death effect. That's going to be a clear one. We got more players down low. I got to stay on the lookout for them. We're pushing up. Okay, hold on. This thing is actually nice with the 60 round mag. There's another guy back there. Probably Holger, so we're just going to go ahead and avoid that fight. Call on the UAV. Keep playing position over here. Okay, just spray and pray meta. Oop, my iPad's bugging out. Not letting me ADS. Sniper. Oh, okay, dead. Got an advanced UAV. We'll go ahead and pop that into this guy. Throw this down. This player pushing me. Oh, my swarm just clutched up. I only have 29 shots left. And it'll just go all into melting that guy. And now we're dead. Or out of ammo. So, I'm cool with killing myself here. I can't even do that, apparently. All right. We'll throw on the buys and we're just going to rush around. Oh, he's reloading it. Nice. All right. I'm curious for testing reasons. So yeah, there's nothing special about that whenever the thermite kills. Dude pushing this. Shredded. This thing shreds through the kinetic, bro. The fire rate is the reason. It just lays down shots so quick. I'm curious if this has a faster fire rate than the ASPAL. Seems nutty. And for how, like, easy it is to control, it's pretty crazy. Get down, sniper. Get down sniper, just constantly. They're going to spawn behind me. Easy reads. Uh, we got UAV. We'll put that into the sky. Two more players over here. Come on. All right, I got the kinetic. We're just going to push forward. Nice. Got a couple more players over here. 
Yeah, this thing is actually incredible at range, which is not at all what I expected. Yeah, this thing's nasty. I'm hyping it up now because I'm having fun, dude. <laughs> like, its damage isn't super OP, and I wouldn't say the gun's OP, but it's definitely good and super solid, easy to use. Gosh. All right, we got more players to our right. Go ahead and yoink that. I got a player behind us. It's just a beam, and that's its biggest benefit. It can lay down so many shots so fast. I definitely, I've said it multiple times, recommend 60 round mag. Because it doesn't seem like the bullet velocity is much of an issue. Got two players pushing in front of me here. There we go. Oh, that guy was on his sight. We got a player up top. I'll do it. What did we get? 40 kills again that round. We ended up winning a 4v5. Shout out to our teammates that were playing the objective because I was just like roaming and slaying. It was like back to back 40 bombs. Again, I think this is probably the build that I would use, at least for like right now. It feels really comfortable. The, the recoil isn't difficult at all to control and the 60 round mag is just super helpful. On top of that, like BSA, long range kills feel really good. It still feels like it has a lot of mobility. So I'm a big fan of this build right now. All right, we'll do Shards of Abyss now. All right, for our final matchup here, we got a hard point between Shoe House and Summit. I'm actually gonna go to Shoe House just because I can rotate this map a little bit easier than Summit. Some of the spawns are always kind of like funky. I, I guess that's kind of the same for Shoe House as well. But we did go ahead and equip the tier eight of the Mythic level Death Effect as well as the other Muzzle Flash. So this is what the Muzzle Flash looks like, the red. Dude, hip firing this thing looks crazy too. I didn't actually like get to admire it before. I love this thing. This is definitely my favorite gun now, like of all COD Mobile. People always ask me for like tier list. This is on top right now. I think we might actually make a tier list at, at some point if you guys are interested. Let's see if we get a nuke here in this final matchup as well. That'd be great. Go ahead and toss the thermite forward, be that guy. And there's nobody at the underpass. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Yeah, yeah, I heard that dude. I don't know how they ended up over there. We're just picking up assists left and right right now. All right, that was a big kill to get. Okay, I got this player one hit. He knows it too, he's just sitting there spraying. I'd love to get a nice clear look at the death effect if that's possible for us. Let me contact. Oh, I think I heard him inside this building, so he's probably above me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Then slide down. Hit him with that. We got ourselves a UAV. That was a clear, clear look at the death effect. I have my armor to work with. Just go ahead and pop that. Take a free kill. I do want to hold down this rotation. See if we have any players challenging. Okay, that was a big kill to get. Puts us on a five kill streak. We're going to work this five at a time. Oh, enemies are actually spawning at the good spot. That's not good. There's a Fennec player on me. We lost the lead. Go ahead and take that kill. Yeah, that's spawning right where I didn't want him. I saw he had a buddy. Oh, we just hit the final reactive for him. Honestly, I was to say, dude might just spawn right back up again. I only guess the swarm, though. It's definitely the slowest of the games we've played so far with this thing. And there's the poor Fennec player again. Honestly, he might have killed me, so I'm glad the Swarm took that one out. Because that'll get us to our advanced UAV here for free. Got a player on the crate. Let's go ahead and take them down. We have our kinetic. We'll go ahead and pop that because I'm about to get pushed. There goes another, and we still have one more just sitting here kind of on the head glitch. I'm going to go ahead and jump over them. Then with the hit fire. Still got one on the crate. A couple others surrounding us and pushing us. Take out this player. Let's see if we can get a couple more of these guys here on the player's crossing. This thing is such a beam. Oh, I hope that doesn't get me. Oh, it went for me. I can't believe it. It went for me, but I lived. That player's up top. I got UAV. We'll go ahead and pop that into this guy. I need to take my time here. Hit the reload. That means know exactly where I'm at. This is the Fennec player. I'd imagine they're coming up. Thank you. Okay. Swarm into the sky. And unfortunately, because again, we are rocking quick fix here on this build, we're going to have to pick up another gun, but not before, you know, putting a lot of damage here with this thing. And poor Fennec player just constantly getting murdered. We got 15 more shots. We'll go ahead and swap to the hole just to secure the streak because we are getting closer and closer to this nuke. Might be able to actually knock it off right here. Let's see. Make a deal with this guy. You're only in the vid if we win this game because I'm not playing the objective super heavy right now. Okay, there we go. There's the nuke. I knew I was super close. I'm going to say only if we win. Let's see if we can make this come back now oh i should probably kill myself so i can uh get myself the gun back no he's not gonna be able to kill me because the nuke's going off so we'll just go ahead and get the hit fire kill take him out uh run towards the thermite ah shiny 
Ayo! Ayo! Kill me! Thank you! It's a dream come true. Let's go ahead and pop the swarm. And we have another advanced UAV to go after our teammates goes away. Okay, hold up. This is this is good. I mean, he's do have a stealth chopper, which is kind of a bummer. It's actually good that this dude called in a stealth chopper because now he's not gonna have it for when like it actually matters. He called it in way early. Thank you. And I'll pop my advanced UAV now. Let's see if we can get a nice little streak going from this. Nobody's pushing mid. Let's see, we'll have at least one though. That was a nice little free kill. Like I said, I'll hold point. What a goat, dude. Appreciate you. I gotta get control of junkyard. This is where everyone's gonna be pushing from. Oh, they got that UAV up on me as well. That's a yikes. I got two here. Two freebies. Not sure what those guys are doing. Again, I just want to keep holding this down. UAV going up into the sky. Two enemies on hill. Go ahead and make that just one. Actually, zero. Let me UAV spot. They're going to be junkyard. This is such a good range gun. Oh my gosh. Okay, that gets us another swarm. Bro, beaming with this thing so satisfying. I'm going to go ahead and toss this down. There's a player behind me. Oh, enemy's persistence is coming in. That's yikes. I don't know how this uh, match is going to go, if I'm being honest with you guys. Anyone's matchup at the moment. I can't get a view of that guy on the hill. No, they got a cluster strike. I'm going to just chuck this. Hopefully it hits hill. All right, team, come on. This is an all or nothing push for us. That was a big kill. We have an airstrike. Okay, hold on. That actually can get them all off the hill. Yo, this is just the battle of persistence. Whose persistence is stronger? They have a stealth chopper again. Oh, I'm sitting on hill. Nobody's watching the left. You know what? I'm not worried about the left. We got this. We got this. Annihilator. We got it. Oh my gosh. 150 to 146. Taking the dub there. 50 bomb as well. Shout out to our one teammate for playing the objective after I said that. That was nice. That's a perfect way to go ahead and close out today's video, man. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. New Mythic M13. A lot of fun. Love the weapon. Love the Mythic variant. So that's definitely top of my list right now. All right, everyone. If you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate if you went ahead and left the like rating before heading out. And if you guys haven't already and you've been enjoying the content we've been posting here on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the all my other posts and before i close out this video i do also want to just mention that i do have another youtube channel called noah from youtube plays that i've been putting a lot of effort into it recently it's a channel dedicated for pc and console games it's a let's play channel and uh, recently i've been doing a psychological horror game as well as a new game called death loop but on that channel we do all sorts of different genres of games right i've got this ongoing series where i'm playing every single call of duty campaign to ever release since cod 4. we've gone through a bunch of different CODs so far and we're going to continue to go through more in the future uh we've also done like the spider-man miles morales series recently so if you guys have any interest in content like that from me it's a whole nother side of my channel i'd really appreciate if you guys went ahead and check that out i will have that linked in the description as well as top pin to the comment section that's like my passion project channel so it'd mean a lot of you guys you know like i said have any interest go check it out i'd really appreciate it but with all that being said man thank you guys all so much for watching today's video on the mobile channel regardless that'll do it for myself and i'll catch you all in the next one